Let's Talk Supply Chain. So welcome to the show, Kate. Thank you for having me. It's super exciting to be here. Yeah, I am so excited to have you here because I have been trying to get Locust Robotics on this show for I don't even know how long. I mean, I love what you're all doing. I love, like even when I was at a conference probably about four years ago, I did an interview with one of your robots <laughs> and it was just really, really fun. It was really exciting. I mean, what you guys are doing for the industry. So talk to us about the industry. What is, you know, what is happening in warehousing right now, especially with labor shortages, yeah. there's lots of challenges. So talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of dynamics that are going on in the warehouse industry right now, particularly in supply chain. You may have seen an article come out last Friday from the Wall Street Journal that said warehouses are the next bottleneck of the oh, supply chain. Oh, I didn't see that. Because what happened with all of the cargo coming over and getting stuck in the ports is that it was stuck on containers. And now warehouses are overflowing and inventory is stuck in containers. So the key is going to be all about throughput. And with yes. labor shortages, how do you get more product through your four walls without having to keep hiring more and more people because there just aren't that many people to hire right now. So that's Absolutely. really the biggest challenge that we're going to keep seeing over the next few months. Well, and I think with robotics, we're seeing record sales. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but everybody seems to be jumping on the robotics bandwagon. Yes. And just from some of the reasons that you just mentioned. So talk to us a little bit about how people are seeing robotics, how they're thinking about it, and how they're implementing. Yeah, you're absolutely right. The robot report came out yesterday and said that three quarters of consecutive record-breaking sales for robotics. Wow. So that's, you know, some unseen numbers, right? Yeah. Um, there's a couple of things that are happening in the robotics space is people are looking to replace or augment the work and the work life of the workers in the warehouse. So we're seeing a couple of different ways that people are implementing both brownfield, which means that they take current operations and they plop robots in or greenfield, which means that they're taking a warehouse and they're building it with automation in mind. Okay. So there's those two methodologies for implementation. But the key is really to have a robotic solution that improves efficiency, productivity, but also makes your workers' lives better so you can keep and maintain your talent that you do have in the warehouse. Yeah, and keeping that automation in mind when you're building a warehouse. Like, mm -hmm. what is it, what is the future of the company? You know, what does that look like? What do we want our warehouses of the future to look like? And I think that that's such a key element to what we need in supply chain, all that future thinking, yep. right? So talk to me, what does Locust Robotics do? Like talk to me about exactly what you guys do. Yeah, that's a great question. So Locust Robotics really focuses on collaborative robots in the warehouse. So we okay. have robots that work seamlessly with your workforce. And as I mentioned, you can have them brownfield, meaning you can put them directly into your work processes as you have it today. So you can actually infuse robotics into your day-to-day -day workflows in the warehouse. And you could also plan your facility as a greenfield operation with robots. We have three robots. The first is the Origin, which yeah. is primarily a picking robot. So okay. it has a cluster mentality. So you have a worker in the aisle and they're picking orders to the bots and the bots just keep coming to the workers. Nice. And they're super fun and easy to interact with. It's an iPad. It's a very nice yeah. UI display. So it's very easy to, for workers to work with it. Mm -hmm. We have a second one, it's called the Vector. Um, it has a higher payload, so the Origin has a payload of 80 pounds, the Vector has a, a payload of 600 pounds, and it's really for carts, picking, industrial manufacturing, bigger boxes, those types of things. Yeah. And it's got really cool omnidirectional technology, so it doesn't matter if there's a, you know, a traffic jam in an aisle, it can just float around it, it's super cool. I love that. Yeah. And then our third one is the Max, which takes up to 3,000 pounds. Um, it wow. is a pallet robot. It's it's big square, it's awesome. And you could do things like case picking, pallet movement, point to point, those types of things with it. So we have the whole gamut of use cases across our three robots. All we need is a little bit of music and have them dancing down the exactly, aisles, Exactly, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> we can make them spin with fun lights. <laughs> oh, all right, yeah. well, I'm sold. I'm sold already. But you have a platform that connects everything called Locus One. Talk yep. us a little bit about that platform yeah. and what it means for your clients. 
So the Locus One platform is really the intelligence behind the system. It helps control and manage the entire warehouse with the robots so that you can have hundreds of robots on the same system at the same time. We have clients that have, I'm not even kidding, hundreds of robots on multi-level mezzanines all at the same time, and wow. it's all coordinated and orchestrated by the Locus One platform, which Amazing. is super cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, just thinking about all of those robots moving throughout the warehouse coordinated through one platform and all doing various different things yep. that can help with some of the challenges that we're having. Now, a lot of um, companies are looking at supply chain as their competitive advantage. Yeah. So talk to us about how companies, how your clients can use Locus Robotics as a competitive advantage. So that's an interesting question because I've been talking to a lot of uh, my colleagues about this because a lot of our customers see it as such a competitive advantage that they don't want anybody else to know okay, that they're using Locus. Um, <laughs> yeah, because you work with some pretty big we names. We work with some really big names. Yeah. Um, you know, can't name drop any of them, right. obviously. Um, but the key is that we are able to improve productivity by two to three X, right? So wow. we've even had situations where operations, where we've improved the efficiency so much that it backs up other areas of their operation no. that they need to fix. So wow. um, they're, c using Locus as a competitive advantage is definitely something that can improve your productivity. We can take anything from, you know, we've scaled up customers from a, a bot, you know, pilot of a few dozen robots yeah. to hundreds of robots. And then you probably saw Geotis announced uh, last week that they contracted a thousand right. locus bots yeah. uh, for deployment. So they really do see it as a competitive advantage because it helps them keep and maintain talent without having to overhire and then just ratchet up productivity and efficiency through the warehouse. So let's talk about that people element. Yeah. Because a lot of people that when I talk to them about robotics, they're like, well, my job's going to get replaced, right? What does this mean for me? What does it mean for the future? I am on the side of it'll allow people to do what they can do best, which is be creative, right? Be more strategic, yeah. be more innovative within a company. So what would you say to the audience members who love the idea of robotics, but don't love the idea that they might be replaced? Because I don't think that's the idea here. It's not the idea. So when we really look at why we have the robots that we do, the key is to improve the worker's life, right? So we're okay. not just replacing a cart. So if you think about a picking process, for example, Workers used to have to walk 12 miles a day through a warehouse, dragging a heavy cart. Um, there's customers that make jokes about carts being widow makers because they're so heavy and they get so many accidents and running into things. What Locust bots do is replace, not only replace the cart, yeah. but improve the processes so that you're cutting that walking time by more than a half. So you're, you're less fatigued, you have less to carry, you have less injuries, and interacting with the robots is a lot of fun. Okay. Um, we even have and special- And you can do more. Yeah, and we have special wraps that we put on the robots so people can add characters, or they what? name them, or they have their company logo. <laughs> so when we talk to workers that are on the floor, training time is five to 10 minutes, okay. one. Yeah. Two, they're not walking miles and miles a day, and they get to interact with a fun robot and have, you know, have a little bit of fun at work. <laughs> And you can name them yep. and you can, you know, put characters on them, maybe some stickers. Yep. I mean, who exactly. knows, right? We may as well have fun if we're going to be dealing with robots. Yep. <laughs> I love that. And I love the fact that you've thought about the people element. That's where we're right? centered. We're really yeah. centered on the people. We come from a logistics background versus there's, there's robotics companies that start with robots that look for a problem to solve. Right. We were originally a logistics company that saw the problem in the warehouse and used robotics to solve the problem. Yes. So we are people first. Yeah. That's who we care about and what we're focused on. So you talked about the five minute training or yeah. the five to 10 minute training, which is amazing by the way, because nobody wants to have to relearn necessarily. They just want to implement it and yep. get it done, right? But what does the onboarding and implementation for the organization as a whole, what does that look like? Because if I'm, if I'm sitting in the audience yep. and I'm listening to you and I'm like, I love this thing, but is it going to take me six to nine to 12 months to implement? No. 
I don't know if I can do that, <laughs> you know? No, the beauty of Locust Robotics is that we go through a, what we call a concept of operations when we engage with a customer. Okay. And that is looking at their full warehouse operations, where they really see the benefit of, of Locust, where we can add value, and what the plan is, right? So we okay. can do, depending on whether you're doing a brownfield implementation, like adding in robots to existing yeah. processes, that could be as little as four weeks. Versus a greenfield, if you're building a warehouse from scratch, we can help design those processes yes. with the Locust oh, bots so in mind. The other cool thing <laughs> is that the, the model that we have, which we call RAS or Robots as a Service, is that okay. you can scale your robots up and down. So say for peak, which is coming up right yes, now, yep. if you only had 100 bots in your facility in the slow summer months, but you know due to like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, the holidays, that your demand is gonna skyrocket, we can drop in another 100 bots to double the, wow. the size of your just facility. That just that easily. Wow. And you can watch videos of us just unloading a bot, you localize it, and it because of the Locust One platform, it wow. joins the collective system of the robots, so you don't have to do any additional work to do wow. peak bot ads. Yeah, 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 that's amazing. So. If I'm wondering what I need to look like to be an ideal client, right? Because at the end of the day, you can do a small batch, like you said, or you could do a large batch, right, of hundreds of robots. Yep. What do I look like? Am I in a certain location? Am I a certain size? You know, am I, what questions am I asking? So I think the key is really about volume, right? The, the value of the Locust system is increasing productivity, which means you need to have a lot of volume. While we add value if you have slower volume, really the key is like if you have a really big need to increase your throughput through your warehouse, right? So um, ideal customers we have in the 3PL industry, primarily okay. on the e-commerce yeah. fulfillment, industrial and healthcare. Um, so a lot of those customers are ones that have that high level of activity within their warehouse. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that um, depending on inventory type, the smaller inventory is obviously ideal, but we do have the capability to do like a large piece on a single robot, especially as the vector in the max um, yeah. with the larger payload. Yeah. So even inventory size. Now couches, if you're doing couches, probably not a right. fit. Okay, no but if you're, people. <laughs> if you're talking about like, you know, those smaller home goods items, that's yeah. definitely, um, definitely an area for awesome. us. Awesome, well, thank you so much for sharing that. Now I want you to walk me through, like paint me a picture of when a customer came to you, what was the challenge they had? What was the solution that you provided? And what was the ROI and benefit? I know you can't say any, anybody's names. That's okay. We can okay, say some. <laughs> but I just want to walk us through and paint that picture so that the audience can get a really good idea of what they can expect ROI and benefit wise when they work with you. Yeah. So there's probably a couple of examples. One that we talk about a lot is we work with DHL quite extensively, and they actually talk about us a lot. There's a, a they recent, do talk to talk about there's you a lot. There's a recent yes. interview with Sally, and she's she's talking about the Locus uh, solution yeah. with DHL. So um, DHL and Carhartt, Carhartt needed to expand their ability to fulfill both to in-store fulfillment and online fulfillment. Okay. So yeah. we were able to come in and using the Locust bots, uh, I believe the number was 3X productivity on getting more inventory wow. through for Carhartt as part of DHL. Yeah. Another one in Boots in the UK, um, they're doing, you know, Boots is like the CVS or Walgreens yep. of the mm -hmm. US. Um, and we have a really cool fulfillment um, uh, implementation there where we have tons of bots interacting with automation and people to increase their fulfillment of all of their buy online, pick up in store, Amazing. their uh, fulfillment into the stores there at Boots. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of ROI value from that. Well, and just the omni-channel, yeah. right? You're really able to create solutions for the omni-channel that everybody's looking for right now. Pick up in store, yep. right? Pick up or, you know, online delivery yep. or pick up from an Amazon Depot maybe. Um, but you guys are really able to partner with your customers to really make sure that that happens and you can customize your solutions as well. Is there anything else about robotics or supply chain that you guys are sort of hearing or thinking about? I'm going to ask you about the future in just a minute, but just in general that you think the audience might want to know. 
You know, now is the time to get into robotics. I, you know, if, if we didn't say it before, with warehousing being the current bottleneck that it is, it's only gonna get worse. Yeah. And in order to really have that competitive differentiator to be able to future-proof your organization, you really need to look at robotics as a, an option to increase your productivity through your warehouse. And it'll help with your customer satisfaction, your team satisfaction, yeah. and just overall ability to adjust and be flexible and adaptable to what your customers are needing, right? So wow. if you haven't been looking at robotics because maybe you thought it was gonna replace jobs or that kind yeah. of thing, mm -hmm. now is the time. The other thing is that they're incredibly safe. I know there was a lot of uh, discussion or concern where in some systems like goods to person, you can't have right. any people on the yeah, floor the because of collisions mm -hmm. and things like that. The Locust solution has special technology around our LiDAR capabilities that. that you can be walking around. They will not run into you at all. They will go around you. Um, if you want to check it out in person, you can check out our booth at 210. Yes. Um, and you can walk within the robot and it's super safe and super fun. I can actually attest to that because like I said, I had an interview with a robot, yeah. I think like four <laughs> years ago at a conference. And I can tell you like they, they really are what you are saying that they are. Yes. And I think, you know, safety first, people for first is what Locus is really all about. And it's really shined through yeah. from what you've said today. But if the pandemic has shown us anything, is that we really need to look at innovation. Yeah. We really need to look at what this as a possibility can do for us in our organization. So now in saying that, what does the future hold for Locus Robotics? I mean, you guys are so innovative and I'm excited to see what comes, but can you give us a bit of a sneak peek? Yeah, I can, I can give you an idea of, imagine a dark warehouse, right? Where a dark store or just an automated warehouse, where a truck pulls in, unloads pallets with a max that drops okay. it to an induction station, mm -hmm. the vector takes it for put away, and then a Locus Origin bot helps to pick and fulfill the orders, right? No forklifts, no heavy MAG, no accidents, and all of that is seamless and uh, a fun experience for people to work with. Now, imagine telling people you work in a warehouse, you get to work with robotics. That's something cool to that have on your resume, cool. right? <laughs> I love that, I love that. Well, I cannot wait to see what happens for you guys and what you bring to the industry. Because you've brought so much already. Now, where can people get in touch with you? Share with us your website. Yeah, you can go to locusrobotics.com and we will do a little teaser. We are very close to our billionth pick what? made with Locust Robotics. Wow. Um, so you should keep an eye out for that. Um, and there's just so much exciting stuff coming for us. Uh, you'll see new robots, new, new different use cases, new customers all the time. So we're super excited about the future. I love that. Well, the future of warehousing is here with Kate from Locust Robotics. Thank you so much to Kate and the team at Locust for coming on the show and really talk to, talking to us about how they can help you as an organization really up your game in supply chain and really help your teams navigate through, you know, the warehousing operations and really make things more efficient, but also more fun at the same time. Thanks so much, Kate. Thank you so much. Appreciate you having me.